it's Gil, welcome back to another Pit Boss Grill video. Today we're gonna be making pizza, and my lovely bride is gonna be making the dough homemade. We'll let each of the kids put whatever toppings they want on it, and we're gonna go ahead and cook it out in the, in the Pit Boss. I'm gonna put, like, pepperoni on my pizza. I hope the pizza's going to taste delicious. So before we fire up the grill, I wanna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this pizza in the pellet side of this particular grill. But one of the things we're doing, instead of a pizza stone, right, you've probably seen those before, we're using this thing called a baking steel. It's actually a quarter inch thick piece of solid stainless steel. Um, let me zoom in and show you what that looks like before we get started. One of the traditional complaints about a pellet smoker is that they don't get hot enough to sear. So what we've done is we opened up the sear plates on this, exposing the flames directly to the bottom side of this baking steel that we're gonna to use to get the bottom of the pizza crisp. So we're gonna crank this thing up as high as it goes. Let me turn the grill on. First thing we do is hit the power button and we will set it to smoke until it begins to smoke and then we'll crank the heat up all the way. For a pit boss, all the way gets to 450 degrees and then it goes to H, so I believe it's about 500. We're gonna put it on that highest setting and we're gonna see just how hot this gets. I'll let you know. Hi guys, this is Debbie, Feels Better App. So today we're gonna to make a real simple homemade recipe for pizza dough. Uh, this one is one that you can make within 10, 15 minutes, it's ready to go. It doesn't have to rise or anything like that. So what I do is I have a teaspoon of active dry yeast and a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and then you add some lukewarm water to it, and then you just mix it up and let it set for five to 10 minutes till it gets kind of that frothy and real yeasty smell. And then you add it to the dry ingredients. Okay, in the bowl, we have a one and three quarters cup of flour. We took a quarter cup, and reserved it so when we're kneading the dough we can use that on the flour. We have a half a teaspoon of salt so while the yeast is doing its, these, its thing I'm just going to mix these two together and that is all that is required for this recipe. As you can see the yeast is ready it's got this really good frothy foamy stuff on the top of it so I'm going to go ahead and mix that in the bowl. Okay now that the yeast has the frothiness to it I'm going to add it into the bowl with the flour and salt mixture. And then you just basically mix it till it starts coming together and forms a ball. As you can see, it's already starting to get kind of mixed in really good. So now that we have our ball, we're gonna set it and you wanna knead it for about two minutes till it gets kind of a smooth texture to it. As you're kneading this, you wanna push down with your palm. Don't use a whole lot of pressure, um, but just get enough to get it to flatten out. What you're trying to do is get the gluten strands to come out so that it, uh, you get a nice crust for your pizza. Hey, 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 right over here. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch, man, appreciate it. So we've kneaded it for about two minutes. Um, and as you can see in the beginning, how it was all kind of cracky, and here now it's kind of got that smoother texture to it. So what I'm doing is kind of pinching the ends and making it into like a little ball. All right, that's it. And then I'm gonna transfer to a ball with just a little bit of olive oil in it and let it set for just a minute because we're doing um, a double batch of this today. So I'm gonna do the other ones real quick and then we'll start rolling them out. Okay, so tonight we're doing pepperoni and sausage pizzas. Um, everybody kind of makes their own however they want them um, and whatever you want hey. on them. Um, Kinley has already made hers because she's super hungry. And I'm making mine now. All right, so the grill's sitting right at 500 degrees. That's about as hot as we can get it. Um, we went ahead and just using the back side of a pizza pan, and I've got some cornstarch or cornmeal underneath it to help it get off of here. So we're just going to open this up, and as quickly as we can, we're going to get it on. Uh, a pizza peel would be a lot better. I don't have one, so this might be a little tricky. <laughs> Close it as quick as we can because we want to keep that heat in there. 
Now, we like these pizzas nice with a nice thin crust, um, and they go from done to burnt on the bottom pretty darn quick. So we're gonna keep an eye on this. It'll probably take four to six minutes. It's, it's surprisingly fast. I've seen a lot of recipes about 350 degrees that go almost 20 minutes. Um, because these are thin, we like them nice and crispy. That's the way we're doing ours. So we're gonna just open this up real quick and check that bottom. It's just about red. Let's see underneath there how that is. Little one's gonna appreciate this one. I'll bring it into her now. All right, we got the third one in. Let's we'll see. We're getting a little better at it. But again, we're just looking underneath, and seeing if it's the right, the right darkness. That crunch is what we like about pizzas. So far, this has been pretty fun. We actually, um, each kid made one and each adult made one. So we made five pizzas. Um, Chastity didn't like hers. She didn't like the black on the bottom from where the cornmeal um, slid down on there and then crisped up. So she's got one going in the oven. Uh, we're making another one for her. But more pizza than we need to eat. And we'll show you what something looks like in just a minute. All right, we got Chastity's oven cooked one. Uh, this here is chicken, peppers, and edamame with olive oil and garlic. We got pepperoni, sausage, and mushroom, and then pepperoni and cheese, half with sausage, and Swabby's pepperoni and cheese. So as you can see, we have quite a spread. We're each gonna try our respective pizzas and see how they are. You gonna try yours, McKinley? What do you think about yours? I think it tastes good. McKinley. Would you have it again? Would you like to try a bite of mine? I have sausage and edamame. No, thanks. You love edamame. Not on pizza? Right. Kind of a weird combo. Mm. Mm. It was clean stuff out of the fridge okay. kind of combo. Much better. Is it? We're all talking very much with our mouths full. It's okay on a food thing. We'll see everybody next week on another grilling video. Bye now. Bon voyage! Bon, bon appetit! Yeah! Bon. Bon.